over there, uh, you can see Botany Bay. Uh, and uh, 248 years ago, Captain James Cook on the HMS Endeavour uh, made landfall for the first time on the eastern coast of the Great Southern Land. And uh, that was the first time that he encountered the local population. He'd seen the local population through a telescope uh, a few weeks earlier. And uh, it obviously wasn't a very HD telescope because um, he said uh, he couldn't quite figure out whether they were brown skinned or had brown clothing on, but uh, he certainly saw signs of civilization and he saw them cooking and washing and fishing and hunting and uh, very obviously a human civilization uh, on the great southern land. Uh, so he makes landfall in uh, 1770 and he claims uh, this great southern land for the crown of England. And uh, the history from that moment onwards uh, becomes very contested. Um, do you see what happened next as settlement or do you see it as invasion? Um, now, there are literally history wars over that question. Um, let, me, let me tell the story as bleakly as it can be told and um, historians can debate it, but, but um, here are some facts. Uh, in 1788, uh, the penal colony um, was established, um, first in Botany Bay, well, but then they realised there was no source of water and they went to Sydney. And uh, even Captain Philip, or Governor Philip at that stage, he um, declared that even within 14 months, um, half the Sydney population, the, the indigenous population, uh, had died through smallpox. And uh, I've seen various statistics, some say 90% of the Aboriginal population of Australia died out um, by 1800. Some say 90% of the Aboriginal population died out by 1900. Um, either way, that's 90% of the Aboriginal population died out. Um, and here's one telling of the story. One telling of the story is that Captain Cook looked through his brilliant optical device and he saw that population. And he was a great scientist. He was made a, a fellow of the Royal Society. He was a world-class uh, navigator, obviously, and cartographer. And he had uh, Joseph Banks with him, a world-renowned botanist who was brilliant at categorizing life, flora and fauna, mainly. But here are people who are undoubtedly uh, advanced scientifically and they had the best uh, technology uh, of the day. Um, they knew that when they were dealing with the indigenous population, they were dealing with fellow members of the human race. Uh, they concluded that those members of the human race were less technologically advanced, uh, less developed. But, you know, so what? Um, so what? That should not matter one whit in terms of how you treat such people. Um, obviously, if Captain Cook had looked through that telescope and he'd seen only kangaroos, well, okay, you can maybe herd kangaroos off into reservations and claim that land, but even then, you want to be very careful about how you do that. Uh, but if you're dealing with members of the human family, what do you do? One telling of the story is that what they did was look through that telescope, they saw the indigenous population, and yet they declared Australia to be terra nullius. Terra nullius, nobody home. And therefore, if it's terra nullius, you can do whatever you want with that land. You have sovereignty, you move in, you do with it what you will. Um, that's one telling of the story, and it's, uh, a lot of what I said is indisputed. It can't be disputed. Um, but however you want to tell that story, that's a pretty horrible story. People looking at other members of the human race, looking at Australia and saying, nobody's home. It's ours. We can do with it what we want. And uh, thousands and thousands of people die because of that. Now, fast forward 248 years and uh, in the year 2018, as a rough estimate, in England, uh, there'll be 180,000 abortions this year. And what is going on with that? We are looking through our optical devices. We are seeing what is undoubtedly human life. Um, undoubtedly members of the human family, we are seeing. And maybe our optical devices need to be more HD, but the more HD they get, the more we realize these are members of the human family. And so should be accorded all the protection and rights that any member of the human family should be accorded. They might not be as developed as you or I. Well, so what? 
so what? That should not matter one whit in terms of the human dignity, the human worth and the human protection that we afford to these members of the human family. But are we going to look through our opti optical devices, look into the womb and say, Terra Nullius, nobody's home. We will establish what we want to establish in that area. That's colonization in the worst sense. That is invasion. That's what conquistadors do. Let's not be conquistadors, right? Let's use our technology, let's use our science, let's use our development to see other members of the human race and whatever level of development they are at, let us afford them human dignity, human, human worth and human protection. Um, yeah, thanks.